Hi everyone, it's Bobby back with another video. Today we are going to make some spaghetti sauce. Um, I have Sam. Hi. <laughs> I'm who's going to be helping somewhat. Somewhat, maybe. I don't know. Or she might just watch and end up, end up watching. I'll probably just end up watching when I know. <laughs> yeah. So I normally do cooking for my family all the time. And tonight they wanted spaghetti, so. Um, I have... A bunch of ingredients here. First step, wash your hands. Yes, first step, wash your hands. <laughs> Sam's gonna wash her hands. <laughs> Next, um, you're gonna need either ground beef, turkey, or chicken. We use the ground beef because it's easier and I have a big ass family. So, um, well, we normally freeze everything afterwards. You may hear dogs in the background with their ball, Maya. Um, and so we are gonna put the ground beef in a pot. Normally, um, I put the whole thing in, but I like to just grab chunks just because it, okay. yeah, I know it is. Just cause it's easier to break down and we had this unthawing for a couple days, like we had it in the fridge. Um, normally, we just take it right out of the freezer and let it dethaw, or sometimes it's frozen. It just depends. It's easier doing it this way because it um, cooks way faster. So I'm just gonna do that. It's cold and gross. And I'm using all this meat because we are going to be freezing some after. It's a lot of meat. Now I'm going to wash my hands because I did touch the meat, obviously. <laughs> um, Sam? Yeah? Did you want to get my dog some food and water? Yeah. And can you put some of the Omega stuff in it? Because my dogs have, um, my one dog has thyroid problems and everything. No, that's cat food. <laughs> right here. No. In this bucket. And then just do two squirts in each bowl. Um, my dogs have, uh, my one dog has hip problems and stuff, so she needs some special stuff. Um, anyway, so next we're gonna, before we fry everything, I'd like to put um, onions in it, and I'm gonna use two just because we do have a lot of meat. So I'm gonna actually cut that up. If you guys want to know a trick about onions, um, leave the ending on and just cut this part and you won't have any tears. Fun tip for you there, Sam. Yeah, I know you weren't. I need a sharper knife because it's not working. Yeah, it won't cut sharply. Now we normally just cut on the granite, um, but Today, I'm actually going to use a cutting board, so, <laughs> thanks, Sam, thanks. Oh, On the thing, no. counter. Oh. So, yeah, if you leave, like, this part on, like that, just kind of hang in there, um, you can actually cut it way better, and you don't end up having tears. I don't know what it does, but it stops it all. Okay. And then Sam's just gonna sit here and watch for some reason. And clean her. Because she doesn't want to help. Even though she's learning here. I'm learning my watching. 
Okay, now I'm crying. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Maya. Okay, so as you cut the onions here, um, I left Sam in charge of the meat. And so I'm just gonna cut this one up and then I'm gonna just do the other one after um so guys once you have all the onions cut I just put them in a bowl because it's easier um you're gonna want to throw it in your pan with your meat while it cooks. Sam's actually <coughs> cooking. Hang on. Stop! Why are you I don't know. Um, Sam's cooking the meat right now. So I'm going to throw this in. Um, I'll bring you guys actually along here. So we got... <laughs> we got the meat cooking. I'm turning on. Make sure it's all in small chunks there, Sam. And just make sure yeah, you keep moving. Um, so, okay, yeah, you can knock them on. Um, Sam doesn't like my dogs because they bark too much. So, once you got that done, you can start with your garlic. I normally use, um, let's see, depending on how big the, um, the garlics are. I don't know. This one won't break. So it must be one whole garlic. Yes, it is. So I'm going to use this whole garlic because it's actually really big. Um, I'm still kind of tearing up a little just from the onions because I have them sitting here. Um, you can enough. What? Hmm? That's high enough. That's high enough. You thought I turned it up? Mm -hmm. It's at 350. Oh. We're just using a skillet because um, my mom got mad when we used the pot. Normally I use the pot, but she, like, she told me not to do it that time that way. So, gotta make her happy. Um, so yeah, this is actually a nice size garlic. So I'm just gonna put that. So yeah, this thing is actually huge. So that's a whole garlic right there. So I'm just gonna cut them in nice small pieces. Normally I like to slice them and then dice them. Now, when we are done, I will leave a little picture of everything that we have. Um, that way you guys can see what there is, if you guys want to try making this. Um, everyone that I know that I've made this for absolutely goes crazy over it. Um, and you can use this sauce for pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be spaghetti. Um, because, like, I have... My one brother doesn't like red sauce. Or, it's not the fact he doesn't like red sauce. It's the fact that sometimes he doesn't like spaghetti. So then I will make this sauce for something different. And he'll eat it, which is kind of weird. But that's him for you. Um, so yeah, you can use this for pretty much any, anything, you can put your mind to it. 
Um, we just like this one for more spaghetti wise. This is like one of my brother's favorites. If you guys don't know, I have uh, three brothers. So. Four. Who's four? Neiman. That's three. Oh, yeah. Right. She thought I was talking about us because, you know, I am a triplet. So <laughs> I got two brothers the same age as me. So I will be making actually a little video. Um. If you guys want to see something about me and my brothers, um, about being a triplet. We consider us triplet lives, you know? Um, so once you did the garlic, I just put it in a, a thing, a bowl, so it's all chopped up. And then I'm going to add it to Sam's lovely pasta thing here. Or yeah. meat. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Why? Yeah. I don't know why I'm on my tippy toes right now, but. Yeah, I don't know. Can you turn it off? No! It's still going. There you go. So it is starting to look uh, really good. Um, just try breaking down all the chunks. But it's looking good. You're doing a good job, Sam. Yay! She's doing a good job! First time making ground beef. Yeah, it's the first time she's making doing ground beef. Um, so there is, we also need to add salt and pepper because you do need your seasoning. And I like adding the salt and pepper now and then after as well. So get out of the way, Sam. So we're gonna just add the pepper. I normally just add it all over. Doesn't matter on how much, it just really depends. Some of the salt. My arms are jiggling here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, random. Um. So while we are waiting for Sam to finish up with the whole sauce situation, um, should be sparking out there. Um, I'm just gonna move my phone a little. There we go. Um, we are gonna. He may want in, Sam. These people didn't wash their mushrooms too well, so we're actually gonna wash quite a bit of them. Um, I almost dropped that one. So we're gonna wash about five mushrooms for the time being. pepper too so um, we got our mushrooms of course it landed in the stuff that I don't need so I just washed up the mushrooms for the time being and you can leave them like sliced or whatever but I don't like mushrooms so I like dicing it so then I don't actually taste the mushrooms um, that's just me I think mushrooms have a weird taste so I don't like mushrooms at all so I'm dicing them like you can leave them whole like that if you'd like it doesn't really matter but dicing is the way it's gonna go because yeah i'm not a mushroom person and i don't think sam is either so right sam right what yeah so like my whole family they all like mushrooms but me oh no, 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 no. yeah so sam doesn't like mushrooms sam's considered like a sister to me because she's always there and she plans on um she plans on no, um, I'm on my mom's she plans on being around for a very long time. Let's just put it, <laughs> let's put it that no, way. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. I got it. I used code word. It's all right. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, chop these lovely, lovely mushrooms here. So when I'm done that, I will come right back. Okay guys, so Sam's done with the meat, so it should look something like that. 
Um, we got the onions and the garlic in there. And so I'm just gonna, Sam, can you get him some water? Um, I'm just gonna um, be putting, oh no, we use, we use that bowl. Dump that into that, into that bowl, yeah. Sam's still kind of learning here, <laughs> even though she's been here so many times. Um, so I ended up doing seven mushrooms just because um, we do have a lot. So this is what the mushrooms are. They're all diced and whatnot. So I'm actually going to add it in. Um, hey, Sam. That's, nice. That's nice. Um, <laughs> I need you to scrape all this stuff in there. I'm like her maid. Yeah, she's like my maid, guys. Um, that's because normally it's just me doing um, this, but like I said, I wanted to teach Sam how to cook just because. Is that it? Uh, yeah, and then I need the bowl over here. Um, we have, you might hear water drinking because we actually have Chevy down here and she, he's drinking, so you might hear that in the background. Um, so next we are actually going to be um, cutting up the pepper, which we do have a full green pepper. Um, for some reason the green peppers give it a better taste, I find. Um, so yeah, we have a full green pepper. I'm going to shut this off, the stove off for now, because Sam's not doing her job. is more interested in her phone at the moment <laughs> so yeah that's right Sam I said it so we're gonna make sure you get all the seeds and stuff out now make sure you guys wash your pepper I've already done this earlier today um, so yeah, it's already, it's off, Sam. I turned it. Yeah, I turned it off. Because you weren't doing your job. So, I'm just going to cut these peppers. I normally cut them in lines first. And then I dice them. Um, So yeah, you're gonna wanna you're gonna use the whole pepper, but make sure they're all diced like like I mean sliced like that. Um, I'm just gonna do this side too. Like you don't have to use the whole pepper; it just really depends on how much sauce you're gonna be making and whatnot. And since we're making a lot because we like to freeze ours, and sometimes. It doesn't even end up getting frozen just because everyone eats it. So um, we're gonna try this time to save some. So then I have um, food for when my parents are gone and I don't feel like cooking. So we're gonna just save. Oh, I just got that all over my glasses, but. So yeah, you're gonna slice and then you're gonna dice them. Um, it doesn't matter on the size. Once again, Chevy is going nuts over there. So you might hear him in the background. He's frustrated. Um, I do plan on doing a video also of um, my dogs, just about them. I might, if you guys want, leave it in the comments if you guys want me to do a little video on Chevy. Chevy is an English Bulldog. Um, he's not even a year yet. He'll be a year old next month. I think on the 29th of July. New year, so he's a little frustrated right now. Um, are you okay with that sound? Yeah, I have some Okay, Sam's not a big 
dog person, so um, sorry if you guys hear that. Um, he's just frustrated. His bum's probably itchy. But yeah, so he, Chevy, I understand. He gets frustrated really easy. Um, so if you guys want me to do a little video on Chevy. I'm in a Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks for trying to help. Mm -hmm. Um, she was supposed to be learning about this, but <laughs> but she decided to go outside because yeah, she doesn't like the dogs. Um, anyway, so if you guys do want um a video on Chevy, let me know because I will make a video. Just comment um if you guys want. Um, I am, or even do a like, um, I'm trying, I would like to try to get a thousand likes on this video if you guys really enjoyed, um, how to make this sauce. Um, I know everyone does it differently, but everyone I've talked to loves this sauce, so, um, I would like a thousand likes. Let's see if we can get there. So, yeah. we're just going to finish cutting up these peppers. And I will be right back. Okay, guys. Once you have your peppers all cut up, it should look something like this. Um, now we're going to add it into our, um, our, our meat. Sorry, I couldn't think there for a minute. Um, I'm going to turn it on now, like on low, so um, it will cook. Um, it doesn't have to cook long, obviously, because we do have uh, sauce and stuff going in it. Um, so I'm just going to mix that all in. Um, I do like to add more salt and pepper to it, um, just so, you know, more flavor. My family likes their salt and pepper and whatnot, so. I mean, if you're not a salt and pepper person, then don't bother, but. So, um, we do have these cans here. My brother was nice enough to open them up for me because I have a hard time opening up these cans with my hand because um, I've had hand surgery. So, it's kind of hard sometimes to open up cans and whatnot, so I just kind of get him to do it. So we have um, crushed tomatoes. We have two of them. Um, normally, I use one batch of, like, one can of crushed tomatoes. But since we have a big batch, we decided to do two. Um, I'm just trying to get all the lids off of them without like you know it would have been smart if he did that earlier but okay so we got um more sauce oops we have I'm just trying to there we go okay so we got the two cans of crushed tomatoes which are gonna go in the um thing right now um, so just add that in, um, we are going to add water to it after, just a bit of water so, um, it doesn't, it's not too thick and it's not too watery type thing. Just, there we go. So I'm going to add actually just a bit of water, probably half a can, um, Maybe not even half. Um, so I'm going to add that to it just so it's easier. And then we got, um, we like to get the, um, the garlic and herb um, sauce. So um, we like having that. So we got two of those and then we got just a regular tomato sauce. So we'll add that in and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Okay guys, this is what it should look like um, once it's done. Um, we normally let it cook for about an hour. Um, you can cook, let it cook for 30 minutes or so. Like We like it longer 
helps because of the taste. Um, and then if you want, you can add um, a little bit of jalapeno if you guys like the spice, but don't do it till after. Um, so this is what it looks like, and I hope you guys like my video. So please share or comment, subscribe, and let me know if you guys want me to do any more cooking videos. Um, just leave it in the comments below. So I do want to get to a thousand likes if we can. Um, so thumbs up. See you guys next time.